know those really strong and handsome heroes that usually ride upon a white steed and that strike down two evil monsters with a single stroke of their mighty sword with their right arm while they knock out another two demons with their left and without turning a hair they kick yet another evil monster's butt. <coughs> well, we're not exactly those heroes! We're the evil monsters! But we're not the most fearsome and terrifying type of bad guys. <laughs> no way! We're those clumsy second-rate villains that always, and I mean always, get beaten up! Yeah, the truth is, it ain't easy being an evil henchman in Almoria. This is me! My name is Optimus Maximus Embers, although everyone calls me Scam, and yes, I'm a goblin. I don't know what it's like in your era, but in these times, it pretty much sucks being a goblin. If you're less than three feet tall, you get no respect. Oh, wait up, Scam! This is Gork the Orc. Gork is the cook in our gang, and the weird thing is he actually enjoys it, and we all know how much cooking sucks. <laughs> Time to get out of here, guys! This is Odinio, a dark elf. He finds it hard to take anything seriously, and he never gets nervous. For some strange reason, women find him attractive. <laughs> Why are we running? Mangana was once a very famous and powerful witch. Now she's blind as a bat, but aside from that, she's in pretty good shape. <laughs> I should be so lucky to look like that at 327 years old. <laughs> and this is Cassius the Skeleton. He doesn't talk much, what with being dead and all, but he lends us a hand in whatever way he can. Sometimes an arm too, if we need it. <laughs> and here are some friendly soldiers that are chasing us to kill us. But how did we get into this situation? Well, the best thing to do is start the story from the beginning, as it should be told. It all started in the Fortress of Evil. You're the most useless and pathetic henchman I've had in my whole 1,000 years of existence! Well, he looks mighty fine for his age. Oh, he must eat a lot of fiber. And I'll bet he sure loves to party. Sail! This is Lord Platypus, Lord of Darkness, Master of the Dungeons, but apparently not a master of his own vile temper. Silence! Can't you do anything right? But how are we to know that the peasant girl was really a man? Because she had a beard, damn it! I had a girlfriend once that was so hairy she even had hair on her back. <laughs> and uh, what is the new mission, oh Dark Lord? Do you really want to know, Sam? <clears throat> it's a scam, sir. You must deliver this parchment to the warlock Anilof. Uh, Anilof? Uh, if I remember rightly, that cranky old weasel lives way out on Mount Bitterness. <laughs> That's miles away. Well, I'll bet there are any nice restaurants. Oh, we mean... oh, who in the devil's name do you think you are talking back to me? Please forgive us. We'll take the parchment to Mount Bitterness, just as you ordered. This time, we won't fail you. Everything will work out fine. I promise. All right, Ken. It's scam, sir. One last thing. Do not open the parchment under any circumstance or for any reason. Never ever. Understood? Of course, my lord. <laughs> Never, ever. <laughs> and now, don't waste any more of my time. Get out! <sighs> that bunch of useless oafs will be the death of me. Excuse me, Lord Platypus, but we haven't talked about a payment. Y you know, uh, there's uh, overtime and expenses, holiday pay. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> Are we nearly there? My dear little toad, we could walk day and night until our feet were bled and we still wouldn't be halfway there. <laughs> oh, toad, are we nearly there? This is absurd! Why do we have to go on this stupid mission? Because if we don't do it, we're going to be fried and served with fries on the side, brother. Well, I'm not going. I'm not working unless we get paid. Oh, I almost forgot. This is Pikey. A grumpy old crow that lives in Calcius's head. He's always whining and complaining about everything until you show him a shiny gold coin or two, and then he sure changes his tune. Don't you get it? If we complete this mission, we will prove to Lord Platypus that we're not a bunch of worthless losers, and we'll be promoted to his elite team. <sighs> you know what? Do what the hell you want, but if things start to get rough, I'm gone. 
I'm hungry. Listen, Scab, why did not we stop and eat something? Yeah, let's make a nice little fire and warm something up. Okay, Gork, you cook us something to eat and I'll scout on ahead. You've got it. What? Aha, uh -huh. perfect. Now we have transportation. Who goes there? Oh. I could have sworn I heard something. Yeah, must have been a rat. Let's go. Oh, that was close. You said it. Eh? Shouldn't you be on your way to bitterness? <laughs> yes, Lord Platypus loves to possess animals in order to keep a close watch on us. He does it all the time, but I can never get used to it. Oh, yes, we're on it, sir! So, what are you doing here, then? Well, I I'm planning to steal a horse <laughs> so, so that we can complete our mission as soon as possible, sir. Yeah. Okay, then. But don't get distracted along the way. I know what you're like. Mm, this Gruyere sure is good. Dinner's ready! I call me! Bon appétit! What do you call this? Uh, it's potato souffle with exfoliation with a pot de vignon oni dance, with an aroma of onion shavings of moldor and a petite sauce. Guys! Guys! Oh yeah, I forgot. I turn fluorescent at night. But don't worry, it doesn't last very long. I've discovered a village near here that has a horse! Wow! A horse? Yeah, we should steal it and make our journey a whole lot easier for all of us. Then how are we gonna do that? No need to worry, my friend. I have a plan! Okinio, you'll use your archer-skilled eyesight and watch over the right-hand side of the road in case the guard comes down from that side. Cassius and Pike, you'll be in charge of guarding the right-hand side of the road. And Ghana, you'll use one of your spells to change a squirrel into a beautiful maiden that will walk seductively in front of the entrance and distract the guard. Gork will appear with a mast, and I'll be perched on the end of it. Gork will take me to the window near the roof, where I will let myself down into the stables by a rope right above the horse. And finally, I'll emerge riding the horse, and victory shall be ours! Is everything clear? Let's go! Let's, Let's go! go! Uh, Scab, what's the mask? Okay, the guys must all be in their position. Right, now I just have to find a nocturnal squirrel. Hmm, uh, you'll do fine. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, no, did you hear that, Celsius? I think there's someone in that house. Let's go see. I'm sorry, the hand was... Are you kidding? You go in... Let's see what you've got. Oh, a legal card game. Who are you? Oh, you bastard. Coins! What happened? Oh, who's there? I think I heard something out there. I'll go and check. Hi. Is there room for one more? Let's see. Junius, uh, Honeyus, Great Bodius, uh, Transformatum M! <laughs> this is it. Mengana has done her thing. Let's go! Well, she's a bit shorter than I expected, but she should work fine. <laughs> Run along! Go and seduce the guard! Hurry! <laughs> You could have at least removed the leaves and branches. <laughs> Piece of cake. Here, Hosey. Hey, that looks like parsley. Well, gentlemen, it's my turn to deal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's see if you give me a decent hand. Huh? Uh. Uh, would you have preferred the left hand, perhaps? Uh. Oh, perhaps it's Rosemary. Here, horsey. How's the mission going? What the f What happened here? Is everything what okay? Happened? What happened? What's wrong? What happened? What's, going on? What's wrong? Man, mm -hmm. that hurt. It definitely ain't easy being a henchman in Almoria. Perfect! Get out! Ah! 
I have a plan. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> and finally, you're the most useless and pathetic henchman I've had in my whole 1,000 years of existence. Wow. <laughs>